everyone it's me k here with an update on my locks now it is september and um i am officially four months locked finally um just giving you guys a uh quick update just on on my locks um the last time i had my locks retwisted was um three or four weeks ago and this is how they're looking now as you can see with the roots let me show you from the back how you guys can see that um yeah probably can't all right well it's growing. It's definitely growing. Uh, they're getting thicker. Um, they're starting to get kind of, you know, a little firm at the end. Like they're trying to close up at the ends. But definitely need of a wash, condition, and retwist. And I'm going to do that either tomorrow, which is Saturday, or I'm going to do it uh, Sunday. And that'll be my first time retwisting my own locks. And I'm also going to try to um, do a roller set at the same time. So I'm going to be washed, you know, condition, retwist, and roller set. As a matter of fact, let me show you the um, products I'll be using. I'm going to be using Head and Shoulders. Good old trusty Head and Shoulders. Now... If you have locks, then you know that itchy, dry scalp and dandruff can be a big problem for locks. And it can cause um, a lot of buildup in them. So, I will definitely be, use, be using a dandruff shampoo this time. Um, and, well, you know, to really get it a thorough cleaning. I was going to do an ACV rinse, but I think an ACV rinse might be too harsh. Um, it might cause my, my locks to unravel because they aren't fully locked yet. Some are trying to lock up. Some have come out a little bit. Um, the back is the hardest. Because I had to combine a couple in the back. And, you know, it, you know, trying to keep them from unraveling and that kind of stuff is a challenge and another challenge is the sticking up like it'll stick up in the back and just stick up like that you know and trying to keep it down people don't tell you that people um also garni fruitis triple nutrition um dry damaged hair conditioner with avocado olive and almond oil Maybe you can see that. Yeah. This is a very moisturizing. I here's I, I tried it once before and um in the shampoo. I never tried the conditioner, but it's a thick, rich conditioner, and I really need the extra moisture in my hair. Like I said, my hair is dry, my hair is dandruffy, and it definitely needs some deep conditioning. Okay, so I'm going to be using that along with a cream gel instead of a regular gel. Um, it's like an olive oil cream gel. I'll show you guys that and, and the rollers I'm going to be using and clips and all that stuff. I'll do a separate video about that after I have done my hair. You'll see the finished results. So stay tuned for that video about my hair style. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. It's my first time retwisting my own hair. I don't know. You know, I'm going to try to do it as cleanly and professionally as the uh, lady that does my locks. So we'll see. And and the reason for me doing my own locks is because I want don't want to be dependent on somebody else doing my hair. The reason why I got locks is to have the freedom to not be a slave to doing my hair every day or every single, you know, every other day or every week. 
And with locks, you know, I can go two weeks, three weeks at a time doing my hair. So pretty much getting my hair done once a month and the rest of the time, I can just be free and let the locks do what they do. You know what I mean? And for somebody like me who um, who is a kind of stressful lifestyle, this is the least stressful hairstyle I've ever had. And I, I, I'm really loving them, even though they're, you know, I've got issues with them. Um, the front. If you guys seen how short my front is, look at this bang area. It is growing so long. I just wanted to point that out. So anyway, if they're growing, they're healthy, they're thriving. It's still getting taken, getting used to, but it's definitely a, a hairstyle for somebody that has a stressful lifestyle. It's a very low maintenance style. You don't have to comb. You ain't got to brush. You ain't got to do all this detangling and, and, and co-washing and all this extra stuff that I was doing when I had my afro. I don't have to do that anymore. And I don't have to walk around with wet hair all the time, you know, to keep it moisturized. I always had to spray water or something on it, leave-ins and things. I don't have to do that. Now, I'm not saying I can't use a leave-in if I need it. But um, pretty much, I don't have it with me. But I use oil sheen. And um, I spray oil sheen every couple of days. And I use this um, tea tree oil. You know, you know, it's a, uh, I put a few drops on my scalp. Um, you know, give my scalp a nice little massage. And it soothes the dryness. And it feels so good. And I... I you know, put a little into my, you know, um, rub a little into my locks, and it smells great. And I'm out the door. Give it a shake, you know, kind of rearrange them a little bit, the ones that are kind of sticking out. I'm out the door. There's no combing. There's no brushing. There's no extra stuff I need to do. And if I don't even have time to do the scalp massage with the oil, I spray oil sheen on, and I'm gone. To give my hair a little shine. That's it. So people who have a stressful lifestyle and want a low maintenance style, where you're only doing your hair once or twice a month, you're only wa you know washing your hair once or twice a month, you're only retwisting once or twice a month, and your hair always looks pretty decent. Hey, locks are the way to go, people. Anyway, I'll do an update on, on my hair and my retwist. So, stay tuned for that video. And remember, peace and love. Bye.